Folks, netting a big fish. That's hitting right over me. That's thunder. You hear that? That's thunder. Scared the crap out of me. Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. In this video, I'm gonna go over some tips for netting those big fish. Folks, when you have a fish on a short leash at a boat, that is the time when it is generally lost the most. Uh, there are a lot of fish, a lot of tournament fish are lost while somebody is sitting there looking at it in the water, getting ready to net it. Now, while a net may appear to be a surefire way to get your hands on a fish, get it in the boat or get it on the bank, it's not always that way. Uh, netting a fish is a very critical point, especially with a big, large fish. Uh, it's a critical point in the catch and uh, it, it's the point at which it's pretty easy to lose one. Now, when it comes to big fish, you need a big net for obvious reasons. Uh, what happens with these fish is, and you may think you've got a big net. I've had some nets over the years that I thought were pretty big until I had a 40, 50, 60, 70 pound fish and I'm trying to get in it. These fish are extremely long, four feet long, five feet long. And getting that fish into a net is very, very difficult. Uh, what happens is as they get close, they flip that tail and they will push themselves right, right out of it. So having a net that is deep, deep is the biggest thing. The actual opening part on most big nets is big enough. What is not sufficient is how deep that net is. Now the net that I've been using for years is one that I bought at Bass Pro Shop. It was probably a $40, $50 net. I don't even know how much I paid for it. I have put hundreds and hundreds of fish into this net. I have put 40, 50, 60, 70 pound fish into this net. It has worked really well. Uh, but in dealing with some of these bigger fish, uh, it was becoming more and more precarious when it came to getting them in there. There were some struggles and some times where, especially with the 70 pounder that I caught on Santee Cooper and some of the recent upper 50 and 60 pound fish, to where getting it into the net, especially if you're doing it alone, trying to manage a rod and manage the net at the same time, was kind of tough. So I was looking to upgrade. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, finding a big net, big enough for big catfish is tough. There are very few manufacturers out there uh, that make these nets. Uh, they're also hard to find as far as going into a store. Not many stores are gonna have them. I did some looking and uh, I was asking around, looking at some different nets and Steve Douglas from Monster Rod Holders reached out to me and says, hey, I got a net for you, you need to try it out. And when I got this net, I was excited to get it. Um, it's, you know, got a collapsible handle like most big nets have, so it's easy to store. Uh, one of the things that stood out to me was the material of the net. It almost has a rubber feel to it. Uh, it seems like it is a lot less abrasive and digging and damaging to the slime coat, uh, especially on the catfish. And uh, I really liked the way the net was put together there. Obviously, as with most big nets, this one has a big opening. Uh, a big fish can go into it very, very easily. Uh, but a lot of nets have that same big opening. So that wasn't a thing that stood out the most about this net. What really stood out to me was how deep this net was. And that's from the opening of it all the way to the back end of it where it was closed up. I took it out and put it on my boat with my old net. Uh, and another one that I have here in the building that is what most people would consider a big net. And when you put these side by side, you can see just how much bigger this net is. Now, no matter what net you go with, a net like the one made by Monster Rod Holders is what you need. You need that deep, deep net for these long fish. A big fish, if you've never caught one, is longer than you think. And you will be shocked just how long it is. So far, I've had the opportunity to use it on a couple of guide trips, and we've got to net a 48-pound uh, blue cat and a 35-pound blue cat. And I'm going to tell you guys, I didn't realize how much easier it was to get a fish that size into the net uh, uh, and, and keep it in there. That's the big thing. Uh, trust me, I've had fish that have come back out of the net, and even netting them the right way. And one thing I'll say right here is when you net a fish, you need that netted head first. Uh, you do not want to be trying to get it by the tail because it will just swim away from you. Anytime you get a missed net shot like that, 
it's an opportunity for something to go wrong, whether the line get hung on your net, you hit the line itself and pop it loose. So you really only want to be taking one net shot ideally. And uh, with it swimming away or getting it from the tail is not the way, you want it head first. And both of these big fish that I netted, uh, the flathead was amazing. It swam straight into it. Uh, and the big blue scooped into it without any problem. So whatever net you go with, uh, go with one that is really, really deep. The opening is important. A lot of nets out there with big openings, but how deep that net is, is something that uh, th that's going to be the determining factor in whether it works for you or not with that trophy fish. I'm going to put some links in the uh, description section below where you can check out the net I've got if you're interested in that. And I hope whatever net you end up using, you get to use it on a big fish. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're going to like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.